Kyiv presents itself as a modern city host to many different cultural events over the course of the year, and film festivals are no exception. In recent history, the Ukrainian film industry has been taking off with a selection of great films. The Nevidane Film Festival, however, hopes to expose locals and aficionados to international films by various directors. It's a festival of five films, a small one, but of five films that are quite notable and we decided they, are, they need to be shown in Ukraine because they were not released in Ukraine and that's what the title of the festival means. Uh, so that's basically the only chance for the Ukrainian audiences to see these five films. The festival's first film, in spirit of Valentine's Day, was a love story. We believe it's a, a perfect film for such a day as today, as uh, Valentine's Day, so... The films showcased at the festival are shown as they were originally, with subtitles for the audience. Director and actor of famous Ukrainian films Hai Tarma, Cyborgs, and the upcoming The Rising Hawk, Akhtem Setablayev, also attended the opening of the festival. He offered insight on the importance of watching films in their original context. Uh... Personally, I enjoy watching movies in the original language because I can hear precisely the emotion that was put in when the film was made. That way you can hear the original language, the original voices, the original feelings. Whereas dubbing, when it is done well, is an art form in and of itself. Because another actor is not appearing on screen gives the actors we do see on the screen not only his voice, but also his vision of the particular character. The Molodist Festival is showing a selection of various international films from February 14th to February 19th. The festival will feature the most interesting films of 2017 that didn't make it for official release in Ukrainian theaters. The variety of films was celebrated at various film festivals across the world including Sundance, Berlin Ale, and Toronto. What is interesting about this festival is that we don't always get to see the very best the world cinema has to offer, and we are very grateful to Molodist for putting together such special events which, albeit in such limited distribution format, enable us to see the films which were well received worldwide and yet never reached our country. Film buffs and enthusiasts are encouraged to attend the festival and indulge in the various flavors of international film previously unseen in Ukraine.